Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video for you today on what I consider to be a pretty common misconception. So the next time a superhero movie comes out, whether it be Marvel or DC or whatever, pay attention to the articles that come out afterwards, especially if they're introducing a new hero, a new character. Uh, there's always invariably some articles that break down the actor's physique. It's like, how did Iron Man or Captain America or whomever get to be jacked as all heck. And now they'll pop up on Facebook and Twitter. Do me a favor and scroll through the comments and you'll always see some guys that say, well, I can look like that. Just give me five hours a day in the gym and pay me $10 million to do it. And I will look like that. Well, you don't need five hours a day and you don't need a gym. $10 million would be pretty handy though, I gotta say. But I think most people don't realize that most of our progress, of us getting stronger, getting more muscular, losing weight, whatever your goal is, it happens when we rest. We grow when we rest. What happens when we exercise, <clears throat> all that happens, well, a lot of what happens is we're only breaking down the body in a controlled manner. In fact, like during the period between before our exercise and after, we're actually getting worse. That's why we can do less after the end of our workout. We've gotten worse. Why that's good is when we heal and we do it in a scientific and controlled manner, we get better, we get stronger, we get faster. But most of the time, most of the time is spent healing. Only a small fraction of the exercise of the time is spent exercising and working out. And we do that in a very focused and very controlled manner. And when we heal, that's when we get better. So we don't need five hours a day working out. You need, you need Really, you need more time sleeping, probably. So that's for building muscle and a lot of common purposes. Now, for therapy, you do do it more often because, you, because it's so low impact and so low intensity, you have to do it very often, and that gets your joints and your blood circulating, and you heal faster that way. But even then, we build up to it. We start off slow, then after your body can handle it and you're not crippled with soreness the morning after, uh, then we add more and more and as much as you're comfortable with and as much as you can handle with your schedule. So that's it. Regardless of your goal, whether it be muscle building, um, athletics, losing weight, you know, all the common ones, keep in mind that your main time factor is probably rest. You probably need to rest more. That's it. I, I know it's been a while since I've made like a video video, but I'll be coming out with more soon, later this week. Can't wait to share them with you guys. This is Hampton. I'll talk to you guys later.